Running Facebook ads as a beginner can be one of the most confusing and costly things if you don't know exactly what to be doing. You'll find yourself spending way too much money on ads that are not making you any money and not spending enough on ads that can be making you even more money. And I'm here today to save you from all of that. We're safe! We're safe! Now, all you have to do is pay attention because by the end of this video, you'll be able to set up and profitably run your Facebook ads from scratch, even if you have zero experience. Hey, I have something special for you guys because we're gonna be going absolutely crazy in this video. So make sure to smash that like button, get this video to 2000 likes so I can give you my six figure ad ammunition sheet to break down everything that you need to know and remember while running your ads, plus five winning products that you could be selling today. I'll be putting the link of this down in the description once this video reaches 2000 likes to help you take off with your online business. And you guys already know that each and every single week I give out a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call to help one lucky winner streamline their success and get all of their questions answered. If you wanna win this week, make sure to smash that like button down below and in the comment section down below, comment the word dropship with your biggest takeaway from this video. And I'll be announcing the winner from last week somewhere inside this video, so make sure to stay tuned the entire way. Without further Further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, like I said, Facebook ads can be intimidating when first getting started. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step complete breakdown of everything that you need to know in order to get started in the right direction successfully. If you're not running ads because you don't know what to do, then there's no excuse why you can't get started after watching this. But before you're ready to run ads, you want to make sure that there's a couple things that you should have prepared so that you can get the most return for what you're spending on your advertisements. Now, the first thing is going to be, of course, a product that has the potential to sell. To be honest with you, if you don't have a product that there's a market for, you're going to be running ads for literally no reason. You need to have a product that falls in line with the trend and ideally solve some sort of problem. And this is going to be a direct reflection of helping you get the numbers that you need with your advertisements and start putting some serious profit back in your pockets. And I show you how to find these products in this video right here. So make sure to go ahead and check that out once you finish this video. The next thing that you're going to want to be prepared with is having an actual Shopify store. Now remember, you can run ads and have the best advertisements on the market with the best product. But if your customers are coming to a store that looks like a mess, you'll be running ads for no reason. Every single thing is intertwined when it comes to dropshipping and are all going to play a role in how well your ads are doing for you and whether you're making money or not making money from running them. And you know me, I got you covered. If you need to start a new Shopify store, you can click the link down in my description that's going to give you an absolute free trial with no credit card required and your next three months with your Shopify store only costing you one single dollar. Now, before we head into how to set up and test your ads, you're going to have to have your Shopify store connected and ready to go on the back end so that you can even run the ads in the first place. And this connection process is where you'll be creating something called your pixel. And your pixel is what stores and tracks the data that you're receiving on your online store and is a key factor to helping you make sales while running your ads. It's so important that you get your Shopify store connected to Facebook correctly, so make sure that you follow this step by step. So first thing you're gonna do is come over here to Shopify, go to apps and type in Facebook. And then you wanna download this app right here called Facebook and Instagram by Meta. Once you have that downloaded, you should see that in your sales channel. You wanna go ahead and click on it. And then where it says advertise your products on Facebook, you wanna go ahead and click start setup. This is where you're gonna go ahead and connect your Facebook account and your business manager so you can start advertising. And if you don't have your business manager set up yet or your Facebook profile, check out this video right here to go ahead and learn how. But this is what it looks like. So you'll just come over here and click connect account. Again, that's gonna be your actual personal Facebook account. Then you wanna go ahead and click on your business account. This is going to be your business manager. So you just click connect, the data sharing, you wanna make this maximum. So you may be seeing conservative, enhanced, I recommend definitely doing maximum. And then this is where you wanna go ahead and connect your pixel. So once you go ahead and do that, you click connect, terms and conditions, I agree. And then just submit for review and you're good to go. Facebook has changed with how you connect your pixel from last year, so make sure to go ahead and rewatch that section again. Now that you have everything connected, you're ready to start running your ads and this is where things are about to get interesting. The key to running ads is to get as much data as possible without spending a ton of money. And the way that I like to do that, and I suggest that you do it too, is something called creative testing. Now, you probably heard all these different gurus across all YouTube tell you just go find a winning product and just go randomly just test it out. Well, you have to understand that Facebook ads is a bidding auction. And the only way that you can win the bid is by having a stronger creative, which means that success and profit that you're looking for with your online store is going to be a direct correlation of how well your advertisement is doing. So your creative and advertisement is everything. Creative testing is a testing strategy that allows 
allows you to test out different thumbnails and different videos against each other at a lower cost so that when you actually get into interest testing, you already know which creative is going to work and which one's going to help you outmarket all of your competition. But the way you should be doing creative testing this year is with the goal to get the information that you need back much quicker with more data so you can start making sales right from the jump. Understanding what ads you should be running can be a difficult decision, but I guarantee you that my new creative testing strategy will have you more confident quicker than ever when it comes to deciding what ads to run. Let's head over to my ads manager so I can show you how to set it up. When you're on your ads manager, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is set up your columns, which is going to allow you to read your data accurately and efficiently. Let's set up the columns real quick and go over which each column is going to mean to you. So the first thing you wanna do is hit this little down button right here. You wanna go to customize columns, and then you wanna take all of this out. So take every single thing out. And the first thing you wanna do is do reach, which is telling you how many times your ad has reached a specific person. Then you wanna do impressions, just how many times that certain person has seen your advertisement. Then you wanna do video average play time to see how long people are actually watching your video. Videos played at 95% to see who's watching your video the entire way through. And then here comes some important ones. You wanna do quality ranking, engagement ranking, and conversion ranking. This is gonna basically tell you how well your advertisement's doing against other people who are selling the exact same product. Then you wanna come over here to cost per click and cost per link click telling you how much it's costing for somebody to click on your advertisement and then how much it's costing for somebody to click on your website. Click to rate, click to rate, link click, letting you know a percentage of people who saw your advertisement and actually clicked to watch it. CPM or cost per 1,000 impressions to see how much it's costing for you to get somebody to see your advertisement. And now we're going to the back end. So we're gonna go ahead and do link clicks. We're gonna do cost for add to cart and then add to cart total. And you can uncheck both of these. Checkouts initiated cost and total, uncheck both of those. Purchased. Only do total first, and then amount spent, budget, cost per purchase, the value of it, and your total ROAS. And your ROAS is basically the same thing as a ROI, which is return on investment. But this is return on ad spend, letting you know if you're profitable or not. After doing that, you want to come down here, save as preset, go ahead and write whatever name you want here, and then click on apply. And then once you're done, it should look a little bit like this. Those little things like having the right column set up is what helps lead to your success with your online store. And that's why we take you by the hand and make sure you understand in complete detail within my one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you're someone who's interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching from my team and I to help you through every single step of your dropshipping journey, make sure you head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word mentorship, or apply with the link down below so I can reach out and help you get started. Now that we have your column set up, let's get into the setup of the creative test. So we're right here on our ads manager and this is the campaign level. So to set up your creative testing campaign, you're gonna come over here and click create. You're gonna come over here to sales and click continue. And then you're gonna go to manual sales campaign and click continue. And then we're gonna name this creative testing campaign. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on next. And right here, we're gonna go ahead and set up the first advertisement that we wanna work with. So I'm just gonna name this creative one. As you scroll down, you already see my pixel setup and my conversion event being purchased. That's exactly how yours should be looking as well. Scroll down, you wanna go ahead and turn this to $40. Are you actually going to spend $40? No, you're not, but I'll get into that in a second. You wanna go ahead and set this up for the following night at midnight. For locations, you wanna do your top five countries, United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that real quick. And when you're finished, it should look something like this. You wanna do age as 21 through 65. Detail targeting, you want to keep this blank. I repeat, keep this blank, do not put any interest in here. Languages, you can do English all. Placements, I wanna do advantage placements. And then I'm gonna come over here and this is considered the ad level where I'm just gonna name a creative one as well. And right here, this is where we're gonna go ahead and set up our advertisement. So at this point, you should have already found advertisements that have worked on the market or went out there and created some yourself. And once you have that, you wanna come scroll down here, go to add media, add video. And one thing you wanna make sure that is consistent across all of your advertisements is a primary text, the headline and the description. Now you wanna remember the only thing we're doing is testing out one variable and one variable only because that's the only way we can actually test out real data is by only testing one variable at a time. And there's no right or wrong answer on what your ad copy should be looking or what your headline should be looking for. You should just be finding out whatever is working in the market for others and how it can work for you. So literally if I'm gonna sell this seat cushion right here, I'm gonna find out whoever did the best with the seat cushion and just take 80% or 90% of what they've already used and just add 10% of my own sauce. And whenever you're finished with your first advertising it should look something like this. So again, you see I have my Facebook page already connected. You see I have a single image or video. I added my video inside of it. I have my primary text, my headline, and my description. 
call to action being shopped now, my website URL, and we officially set up our first creative. Now, with creative testing though, I do recommend starting off with at least five creatives. So what I'll do is go ahead and duplicate this four times and just change the video. So I'll come over here, hit these three dots, click duplicate, click four, and then we're just gonna go down the line. Here's creative two. And again, the only thing I'm doing is just changing the video. Creative three, only just changing the video. Creative four, you already know what I'm gonna say, only changing the video. Creative five, and it's as simple as that. So you basically say I have this video right here, I have this video, this video, this video, and this video, all going towards the same ad copy, description, and primary text. Once you're finished with that, you'll just come over here and click on publish. Now, you've officially set up a creative test for your creative so that you can see which one is the most eye-catching for potential customers. And remember how I told you you're not gonna spend the entire $40 on these ads? Well, that's because I let each one of these ad sets run to around five to seven dollars each and measure how well they performed against each other. And that five to seven dollar benchmark is a benchmark I use for a product I'm selling between 25 and 75 dollars. So if you're selling something more expensive, I would add like two to three dollars to this benchmark. But as a beginner, for the highest results for the lowest cost I do recommend selling products between 25 and 75 dollars and to make sure that you're not letting some ads run longer than others you're gonna want to create a rule to turn off the ads when they reach a certain point point. and here's how you're going to do that so you go ahead and select every single ad set you'll come over here to rules and then you'll do create a new rule and then you want to go ahead and do custom rule and you can just name this turn off ads for the rule name you want to apply it to every single ad you want to make sure the action is turn off ads so if your ad set spent over $7 and your cost per unique link click is greater than $1.25, I would have the ad shut off. Then you wanna come over here to time range and you wanna to go to today. You wanna to do it schedule as continuously. So basically this is running every single 30 minutes. And then after that, you just wanna go ahead and click on create. Now fast forward after a couple hours of running your creative test, you should already have ads that easily spent over five to $7. And it's time for you to measure your data to see which one performed the best for you. When testing out your videos and your thumbnails in a creative test, you should be looking for which creative hits these following metrics. Cost per click under 50 cents, click the rate of 2.5% or higher, CPM between 15 and $17 or less, and a cost per unique link click of a dollar or lower. But the most important metric is a cost per added card being between five and $7. And I mean, I see this on every single one of the winning products I have. And honestly, this is the key to seeing if you have a winning creative or not. And if you're not seeing these type of numbers or something close to them, then you need to test out different creatives think about it you maybe just spent $25 testing out creatives where you could have just spent hundreds of dollars thinking if you could just test out a random product but it never worked for you then once you've gotten these type of numbers from your creative test you now have enough data to confidently head into a purchase interest campaign and really start optimizing for sales all while this entire time continuing to run this creative testing campaign and getting sales off the asset that is performing for you and now you can start making more sales in a purchase interest campaign while you're targeting specific audiences and here's a creative testing campaign as an example that I've ran. As you can see, I was getting a cost per unique link click of around 80 cents. So that was basically my average, which is already lower than that dollar benchmark. You see, click the rate was sitting around 3.25%. So again, that was working really well. Cost per click was sitting right around 51 cents. And I was getting some pretty good CPMs on them. And this is a good indicator to show you if you have some real good advertisements, it will show you with the data. And I know we just covered a lot in a short amount of time, and this might be a brand new concept to you. So do not forget if you're having any questions about this video or about how you can get started, you can reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word YouTube so I can reach out and help out in any way possible. Now we're about to get into where the money is made. So make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to smash that like button if you've been enjoying this video. And if you're looking to get that six figure ad ammunition sheet and five winning products that you can sell today. Now that you're confident in what ads you should run, it's actually time to start running them and bringing some money in. And you're gonna be able to do that by setting up what is called a cold audience campaign, which is also being optimized for purchases and targeting customers that you think might be interested in your product. Targeting with this cold interest campaign is what really is going to allow you to make sales and get your ad in front of the right type of audience. Let's get into the setup of where you'll be using your winning thumbnail and video so you can really see what I'm talking about. Now, whenever starting to run your ads, I like to let Facebook really push where the money I'm spending is going as Facebook's AI is really going to do the work for you and know who your real customer is going to be. Allowing Facebook to spend that money that you're putting into ads is what's called a CBO or campaign budget optimization. So with the control CBO, what's basically going to happen is you're going to put 
push an even amount of money throughout each ad set that you're running and then push even more of your budget into ad sets that are performing better than others. So for example, if you set up a $100 CBO with a $5 minimum spend, you're telling Facebook to spend $5 on each ad set no matter what. And then the remainder of the $100 budget after spending $5 on each asset will spread across the assets that are performing the best for you. So let's go ahead and set it up so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So to set this up, you're going to come back over here to the campaign level and click on create. You're going to go to sales again, click continue, manual sales campaign. You're going to name this cold interest testing campaign. You're going to come down here to advanced campaign budget and you're going to go ahead and set $100. Or if you only have $50, you can set up $50 here as well. You know, matter of fact, I'll just do that $50. Now you want to come to the ad set level. Here's where you go ahead and click your pixel. Conversion event again being purchased. Set this up for the following night at midnight. Show more options and then ad set spend limits. You want to turn this on. And again, I want to put $5 here. Scroll down to the exact same countries as before, 21 through 65. And then now right here in detail targeting, this is where you're going to target specific people. So if I'm going to sell the same seat cushion I was just telling you guys about, I'm just going to think what people would actually buy this product. And it's probably going to be people who are sitting down all hours of the day. So now I'm just going to go ahead and dive into those type of interests. So a person who might be sitting down all day is someone who probably is in an office chair. And when I select an interest, I want this to be between 2.5 million all the way up to 80 million. That is the range behind this and you can see that this works out perfectly and you only want to put one interest in each ad set so once you pick the interest you want to copy it and then paste it on the ad set name scroll down you want to do languages you want to go ahead and do english advantage placements like before and then this is where you're going to put your winning creative that's done the best for you so then after choosing your first interest you're going to duplicate this four times if you're doing a $50 budget or nine times at a $100 budget so because this one is a $50 budget I'll come over here and click duplicate and I'll do four copies and the only thing I'm going to do here is just choose different interests and I can do this by suggestions or I can just type in a brand new interest I'm gonna go ahead and finish this real quick and just like that, I've officially set up my campaign. So I have frequent travelers, home office, driving vehicles, office chair, and chair home furnishing. Those are gonna be the five different interests that I'm targeting. And after getting done with that, you'll just come over here and click on publish. Now, like I said, you've officially set up your first purchase campaign, but don't think about going anywhere yet because you need to know what to do after doing this and what you should be looking for. And that's exactly what we're about to get into. Now that your ads are set up and running, it's time to let your money work for you, but you have to know how to do that. So you should typically allow your ads run for about four days to really obtain the data that you're going to need in order to move on to the next steps of scaling and producing more purchases. But throughout those four days, let me be clear, you should not be letting money spin just to let it spin. I always suggest having some sort of KPI calculator or key performance indicator calculator to help you determine what is making you money and what's not. And this is a KPI sheet that I give out to all my students that shows you what you're willing to spend in order to get your first purchase, what your break even cutoff is, what your profit cutoffs are, and so much more. I mean, you can literally see for this product, I'm selling it for $70 and it tells me my break even is $42.80. Letting me know if I spend anything over $42.80, I'm not making any money. So you can see an example right here. The second this ad set spent over $42.80, it was not going to stay on at all. And the same thing for the other ad set under that. Literally the second something goes over my break even, I'm not spending a single dollar past it. You always have to cut what it's not producing producing for you so that you can put your money in the right area. And as you're getting started, reading and understanding your data is going to be a challenge, but as long as you keep practicing and allowing yourself to be a beginner and soak up all the information that you're seeing, you'll continue to get better and continue to make more and more money. There's honestly so much information out there when it comes to running ads, but my best advice to you is find a strategy that makes the most sense for you and just stick with it. And then continue to keep learning and testing so that you're not confused by trying to mix three to four different strategies together. And don't don't think I was about to hop out this video without telling you one of the biggest things that stop beginner dropshippers from even getting started with advertising. And that's the fear of being restricted or disabled and you might even be one of those people. But with problems, we're always working to find solutions for you all. A lot of the time, advertising accounts get restricted because beginners are trying to learn how to dropship, end up opening a brand new business manager and a brand new ad account and immediately start running ads on them. This can signal a red flag for Facebook and restrict your advertising account right off the bat. But you know I got you covered. I partner with an in-house team here at Supreme Ecom called Solid Scaling to allow you guys to overcome this. 
And soft scaling can help you avoid that because they sell aged and verified business managers so you can start running ads right away while avoiding issues that other beginners would typically face. You can click on the link down in my bio below to reach out to them on Telegram, mention Supreme Ecom to get $10 off your first order. I hope that this was a strategy that helps you out as a beginner and lets you finally take the step to running your ads so you can understand what it feels like to have no cap on the amount of money you can make or how much time you have to make that money. Because once you hear that first cha-ching on your phone and actually feel that excitement of getting your first sale, the grind that you're willing to put in will only get more intense because you'll realize the possibilities are limitless. I can't wait for you to start advertising, start getting the sales that you deserve, as you know I'm here to help you out in any way possible. And speaking of helping you all out, you know I cannot forget to mention the free one-on-one -on -one consulting call winner from last week's video. And the winner from last week's video is Malty Keel. Malty, congratulations on winning. Reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. We can hop on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call, look over your ads, look over your products, and help you get the success that you deserve. And don't forget, if you want the opportunity to win next week, all you have to do is smash that like button down below, and in the comment section down below, comment the word dropship with your biggest takeaway from this video. I'll see you all next week. This is AC with Supreme Ecom, and I'm out. They gon' want a piece when you got it like that. Like Jake said, we gon' spend it.